Continue with the nice weather this Tuesday morning. How about the sunrise coming up over the Georgia coast? That's from the Tybee Island Sky Cam looking great out there. It's going to be a warm day and we've got those clouds that are offshore. You can see on the uh, the wide satellite and radar, but I want to point your attention to clouds. This grayish white shading moving across Georgia right now. Uh, we are going to have more clouds come through here today into the coastal empire and the low country. Also seeing a few isolated showers well offshore. A couple of those might try to sneak up the coast as we get after lunchtime. So let's talk about your local temperatures this morning. 648. It is 64 in Savannah. Inland temperatures. Well, we do have some 50s, but as we get closer to where that cloud cover is, didn't cool quite as much over in Hazelhurst at 66. South the door this morning for Savannah commuters. We've got 60s quickly turning into 70s, even near 80 by lunchtime. Your 12 hour rain forecast really not going to see much today, but the showers that do develop will be after lunchtime into the early evening. So let's take a look at that models picking up on those offshore showers we just talked about. Notice a couple of those might try to move toward the low country around 1 2 o'clock and then we see mainly a far inland rain chance. This would be 3 4 5 and then the sea breeze interacts with that area as we go through the evening. Not going to be completely dry, but probably about a 20% coverage through the late evening and then the early morning hours tomorrow could have a couple little isolated showers near the Savannah River and into the low country. So with that sea breeze coming in, temperatures only in the mid 70s for coastal areas as we go through the afternoon, low to mid 80s for our inland communities through our afternoon. Of course, that rain chance it's there, but it's small and goes down after sunset. Southeasterly breeze still with us here as we go through this evening, about five to 10 miles an hour it could be 15 or so at times looking ahead to tomorrow. Sea breeze comes in once again with that. I think a better chance of rain closer to I 95 on our Wednesday. That's the difference between the two chances as today's is more of a far inland rain chance. And then we get into Thursday. It's pretty dry across the area. Temperatures though consistently in the mid 60s during the mornings and then mid 80s during the afternoons, at least to close out the week. Thursday, Friday look pretty quiet if you've got Friday plans. And then as we head into your Saturday and Sunday, we've got those temperatures near average just above as we head into next week. We continue with the above average warmth. I've got more on your first floor forecast coming up.